So what's going on guys, Victor Brand here from Napster Films and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to get the ProRes codec inside DaVinci Resolve for Windows. So let's, let me just show you quickly. You can see that I have this plugin called Vakuda and if I go under the Vakuda configurations you can see I have ProRes. So I'm going to show you how to load this plugin inside DaVinci Resolve. So first we're going to go into the web and there's a link in the description or you can just search Vakuda for Vakuda and under the downloads I'm going to go and download the Vakuda app main, the main version and right away you can see the download starts. So I'm not going to download this because I've already downloaded this so I'm going to cancel and then the next thing that I'm going to do I'm going to download the connector for the DaVinci Resolve 17 so we have different versions we have the Premiere we have the After Effects we have the Vegas and other software so we're going to ours you're going to do it in DaVinci Resolve so I'm going to download this and right away the download starts so I'm going to cancel because I already have all these files and right so I'm going to go I remember you need to shut down the DaVinci Resolve so I'm going to go under my download files so here are my download files I'm just going to go under the downloads and find where the download files are so right away I find Vakuda so this is the main version of the software so I'm going to double click to install and I'm not going to install this because I've already installed it so you guys go ahead and install it so right I'm going to cancel the installment So after cancelling the installment, um, right away I'm going to go under the compressed files where I've, I have the resolve connector. This depends with where you save them. So I'm going to go under the connector, Just it's a zip file. So I'm going to go under this folder and I'm going to, des to extract it to the desktop file. So I'm going to press extract and I'm going to select the desktop and I'm going to say OK. So since I've already extracted this, I'm not going to do this step again. So right away, I'm going to go under where I installed the DaVinci Resolve, where my DaVinci Resolve files are, which hard disk. So for most of you guys, maybe you have it on another drive. So I'm going to go, mine is under my local drive C. So I'm going to go under local drive C and I'm going to look for program data. If you guys can't, can't see program data, you need to change your view system. Just, just make sure that the hidden files are not hidden so that you can see the program data. So I'm going to go under product, program data and I'm going to go under black magic design and I'm going to click it and I'm going to go under DaVinci Resolve. And right away I'm going to go inside the support folder and I'm going to look for a folder called IO plugins this this is the folder that I'm going to look for if you don't have this folder you guys can really create because at first I discovered that DaVinci Resolve some DaVinci Resolve doesn't give this file so I created mine so this is where the hack is you just right click say new add a new folder just rename it let's say a capital letter i a capital letter o and a capital letter p and then just say plugins just like that and right away it asks me if i want to merge but you guys won't you won't see this folder so let me just delete it because i already have uh, the folder here i already have this folder so right away this folder will be empty inside you won't have this file so you go back to let's just go back to let me just place this on the side and this is the file that we extracted 
on the desktop so i'm going to drag this and drop it in my folder so once i do this i'm not going to do this because i already have this file so you guys just down just drag it and place it under the play under the folder that we've created and then cancel out just x out and right away go open your davinci resolve again and go under the deliver tab you go under the custom tab and you guys will be probably having these settings so under the format the export video format i'm going to say i'm going to click in here to bring this drop down menu down and i'm going to select vacuda and right away it gives me an option to configure the vacuda settings so i'm going to click here and it gives me this window so right I'm going to go under the video tab and I'm going to say ProRes. This ProRes KS ProRes AW. So I'm going to select AW because this is my preferred setting. And I'm going to go under the audio and I'm going to say double AC MPEG. You guys can choose whatever you want. If you want MP3, if you want WAV files, you just go ahead and select whatever you want. And under the output, I'm going to select you you guys probably have it under MKV so I'm going to select QuickTime and that's probably it this plugin was created by this person I can't really pronounce his name so this credit goes to this guys this guy is created the the file so I'm right away I'm going to add this file to the render queue and right away you can see i have this timeline here and i'm going to hit render and right away I'm, it's just if i hit render it takes me to and you can see there is that we always see in most renders when you do your renders your renders so that's it for today guys remember to comment remember to hit subscribe remember to like the video remember to share the video so that we can reach out to many communities and many people and that's it for today guys see you next time